I should sing more. You know, singing's therapeutic. It is. It really gets the stress stress out. What's killed me is over the last several years of listening to so much talk radio and podcasts that I don't listen to a lot of music. Same here. I I got to tell you that's that's the, the that is a big downfall to all this. Uh... More music. So is that that part of our New Year's resolution? It's not part of mine. Okay, <laughs> but it can be yours. I mean, I'm. <laughs> get to pick your own. All right. Well, we have the production p- crew in place. We have our notes. We've got our. Did you, you, Ed? You didn't comb your hair. Well, yeah. Was I supposed to? You should. I mean, I thought we agreed we weren't going to wear our caps anymore for the show. I don't. I, I missed that memo. Oh, I think I was absent geez. that day. <laughs> All right. Was that feedback from somebody that? It was. They, they, everybody said we had such nice hair that they really didn't like us covering it up. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you're lying. <laughs> oh, maybe this that was just my perception. That, that was my right. Craig initiative. <laughs> That's just your initiative. Yeah. Okay, cowboy. Sunday That's mornings. What you get in cap. Cap. All That's right. what you get. Well, I, I blow dried my hair just for you today, so. I hope you appreciate that. Yeah, did you really? I got a new. I got it. I got it cleaned up on wow. Friday, Saturday. Oh God! I thought you were going to say I got a well, new hair dryer. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Did you get yeah, one of those? Dyson exactly. No, realistically, for hair me, it doesn't require a tremendous amount of uh, hair drying. Not a lot up there, right? You know, I get so much cut off. Not a lot to do with mine. <laughs> I'm not feeling sorry you for would, you. buddy. You never, you never freaking feel sorry for me. Ever. Yeah. My uh, receding. My hairlines. Quick, quickly receding. Yeah. But hey, Ooh. it was See, a good forty-eight years. So you thinking you, you may be? It all you goes may now. Think you may go Telly Who Savalas. Cares? You think it's not in the this cards? Year, but yeah, at one point, you know, that'll be. And in we got to get the show started, but. You know, the Tell Us Savalas thing, that's a pretty good look for old people because see all this gray? It's like obvious that I'm old. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you shave all this off, you go, they don't know how old you are. I I I think I'd look different. I think I'd look different. I've thought about shaving it all off, but I've uh, been Mm -hmm. threatened with divorce if I shave this hair off, so... You're talking about beard or hair? I'm talking about my hair going bald. I'm saying Telly Savalas. You know who Telly oh. Savalas is, right? I mean, I'm talking to a boo. Okay. I know who Telly Savalas so, yeah. is. I'm talking yeah. about shaving, just going. I mean, I think if you think about old. Oh, Telly Savalas. I mean, Telly Savalas. I mean, I think he was 103 when he died. He still looked like he was 62 or something. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, and a one, and a two, and a three. Let's start the show. With 50 plus years of combined produce, supply chain, entrepreneurial, and business experience, Craig Slade and Ed Bertad discuss the impacts of fresh produce on their lives and health. This podcast is a casual conversation between two friends just trying to get better. This is The Fresh Cred. Hey, Ed. Good morning and good happy new year to you. Happy new year to you. Is it a new year? Nuevo Años, is that correct? Is it? Feliz Años Nuevo. Which is it? Which is the way? Or Año Nuevo. Ah, so it's Feliz Año Nuevo. Happy New, Happy Year of New. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes. So, well, Feliz nu- uh, Feliz Años Nuevo, amigo. Uh oh, almost. You almost got it. Ah, no so yeah, you don't want to have good years. Just it's año. Dang it. Well, mm-hmm. happy New Year's. <laughs> That'll be your home. That'll be your homework. How are you doing? You look nice over there, looking good. I mean, you're all grayed out. Uh, you uh, likewise. 
beard looks like it's in fair order. It's nice and it's nice and cut in sharply. <laughs> um. Yeah. I guess I'm keeping it. Mason, okay. how you doing, buddy? I'm grumpy. Doing. I'm doing Ooh. good though. I, I but did not that, get... you know, I love the honesty. It's one of those things where, yeah, I don't know. I just, I've not. I'm, I'm on a sleep deficit at this point. I've been consistently getting about six hours, so it's really catching up with me. Short staffed at work. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Ed. You, you talk about your sleep, but I'm just like, oh my god, I couldn't. Yeah. Uh, oh, I could sleep about four a.m. this morning. I was like. <laughs> I didn't want to do a podcast today. Oh, crap. I got to get some sleep. You are not still rocking at 4 a.m. Don't even tell me that. No, no. I no, mean, I had go. slept already gotcha. and then woke yeah. up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my watch, oh, yeah. you know, it's that, that it, it tracks your what they call sleep deficit or whatever. I don't ever get... Mm-hmm. I've never, I, I've never had an uh, over. <laughs> I've never been on the over. I've always been on the under on the old sleep program. So I'm about to get a. Tr- so Brian Tate's been using that Whoop for like a year or two, and he just upgraded. And I guess a part of their program, they encourage folks when they upgrade to upcycle mm-hmm. it to somebody else, and they give you two months free. So, so what I'm going to try it. For two months, he assured me so I could this? sanitize it appropriately. Uh, whoop! We've talked about Whoop. It's a it's a smart device, but it's it takes it another level, like than Fitbit or anything else. I mean, it really tracks. I don't know everything about it, but he explained to a large degree it's recovery, right? A big part of it is recovery. So the first month or so, it'll develop a baseline of. You know, exercise, sleep, recovery time, all that stuff. Basically, it's to optimize. It's meant more about optimization, I think, of your. So, so you're going to get on this, and so, and if you get me on it, you get like a free couple of months or something. Yeah, actually, so yeah. You collect I mean, any, that's another you, part of you it. Collect money for if, the people if, below if you. you. Get some in it. It's not a pyramid scheme. No, I think, I think that's where it kind of ends. But if you, if you, yeah, if you just buy one, right. And say, let's say I bought one on my own and then you bought one. I would, if I referred you, there's a referral code, um, you would get some sort of discount. I would, but in this case, he bought a new one, already had one. So they, I guess the company encourages folks to pass it on to somebody else they'll give that person two months free to try it out. Uh, but if you're a new user, basically you commit to a year and the hardware is free. Um, well, what's this bad boy setting you back? So I don't even know. A couple hundred bucks, I think it, two, 300 bucks. Yeah. But it's, it's a lot more, I think intuitive than I know it is more than just like my Fitbit. Oh, look at there. That's it so, right there. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the Apple Watch. I just mm-hmm. got to be honest with you. Sorry, Apple. I didn't figure you guys were going to sponsor. Tim Cook's going to squish you under his yeah. thumb. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're going to ruin Co- us now. Tim- <laughs> Shut us down. <laughs> uh, we do appreciate Apple, by the way, your pod platform, but your watch sucks. So it doesn't suck, but the, the bang for the buck. I, I was my my whatever it was, hundred fifty dollar, hundred seventy five dollar Fitbit. Um, was much more useful for me than this Apple watch thing has been. So. Yeah. So the whoop it's been around for a while now I've been noticing PJ tour player. So there's it's, it's adaptable to where you can wear it around your arm on it with a band. They tend to do that. Right. You see some players doing that. Rory wears it. Um, so they've partnered with PJ now and you'll see when he's playing or a couple of these players that I guess have given authorization when they go when they cut to them and they're about to hit a shot they'll huh. show like a whoop meter on the screen during the broadcast and it shows this heart rate and you know almost kind of like a almost like you're watching a nascar you know it's giving you another level of interaction i guess to what 
like, I like your heart that rate design. when they hit a drive a or whatever. Fabric look. Yeah, the, these these are good looking accessories. Yeah. Um. But it's not a lot. Like it doesn't yeah, have no time screen. or anything. Like you just wear it. Yeah. But e- like everything's it. on the app. You just wear it, so it's just a device for recording or capturing data. Yeah. And yeah, so does it do mm-hmm. body temperature by chance? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Is but that a thing? Body You're temperature? Are you kidding me? That's like a leading indicator for everything. I mean, okay. What happens? You know, first when you start getting sick, what happens? Okay. Well. Well, yeah. I mean, I know that much, but well, otherwise, you can why would judge why? Your, I mean, your body ch- temperature changes when you sleep, right? You your body you, it'll cool down and mm-hmm. it'll raise up. If you sleep hot, you probably don't sleep very good. You can see how alcohol affects your body temperature. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so something I haven't go. contemplated. I learned something today. Body temp. I'm well, Aura Ring, Aura Ring is another device out there. That's one that I've contemplated, and it's very good in terms of tracking, and it tracks body temperature. How long ago did you buy the Apple Watch? A year. Let's say a year ago. When they first, they were just, I mean, the oh, latest... Okay development out so yeah let's say a year ago maybe a year right yeah when you're wearing it every day now i took it off because it needs to get charged in the morning but i sleep with it every night wear it it's not great for sleep you know and that's the other thing does this new does this whooper does it have a sleep does it does it does it do anything for your sleep sorry because that's that's a big deal i like to track my sleep i like to find out how well my good i just said that that's a that's a big part of it that's like on the okay. recovery side. That's the biggest part of it, I believe. Um, also, I, I believe there's a it's a wearable charger. So basically, it's like a little unit that you charge, and then you never have to take the thing off. You just click it on the wow on the device while you're wearing it. Yeah, that seems that, pretty cool. So I don't know. I think I bet that, that I'm that, more excited about wearing the it. Fabric now. gets a little stinky now that we've talked about it. If you never take it off, but you replace that. Yeah, I mean, you can replace it, wash it, do whatever. Oh, come on. What is that smell? That's when have you been Ed concerned? Whoop. He has not changed his whoop in a while. <laughs> you just shower with it. That's what I do with my Fitbit. Just shower with yeah? it. Yeah? Shower with it on. Do you? Hmm? See, I don't shower with my Apple Watch. Yeah. Wipe it down with a little alcohol. Well, yeah, try it. And then try that's it. Four, four, yeah, for nah, I don't know. Out. There's a camera, There's no camera on these on things, the isn't there? Watch. You probably don't want to. No you probably don't want to be wearing a camera Apple in the watch. shower. <laughs> I see. I'm an Apple fan. I love Apple phones. I mean, Bryce just upgraded phone because he destroyed one, dropped a weight on it at the gym. Uh, but to his credit, I think it was four years old. His old phone. So I mean, it, it's it's really funny how you know, particularly young people or kids. Um, they'll lose yeah. anything, but they won't lose their phone. <laughs> like phones somehow have been taken care of more <laughs> in my household than anything you can point towards. Like, <laughs> did you lose your wallet? Yeah. Did you lose a no, cat? Yeah. I got that. But did you lose your phone? No. <laughs> that's a fact. <laughs> got that. That's why they're. That's why they're. That's why they're doing those wallets that are attached to the phone. I mean, if you have a problem losing your wallet, which. Knock on wood, I've never done, um, you know, these k- phone cases. It's like a wallet all in one. Nobody will ever but lose their wallet lose, again. you like, all your most precious stuff in, in one go. Somebody takes that phone. I like uh, Apple Pay. True. I mean, you put all your cards inside your wallet. They're about to do uh, your ID, too. So you can just literally have, like, a, get pulled over your ID like it would be acceptable. Or yeah, it'll be to standard. Will it? Um, you think it's something that Apple's working on? So we're now mm-hmm. offering legal advice for all you people out there. So it's yeah. not legal advice. <laughs> just 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 take a picture of your driver's license. He'll, they'll they'll be good with that. Well, I'll have it probably next the week, Weeper? and I'll show it to you. But um, somebody I know just lost their wallet, so I ordered them a wallet. That has the tile. What's the toggle thing they do now? You're the, talking about the, the tiles, the AirTag. Huh? Oh, AirTags, yeah. AirTag, 
Yeah, so these they have wallets now with the AirTag built in. Um, so you got that? So Who did you get that for? It's pretty cool. Looks cool. <laughs> Fair price. Okay, that so so that story actually had uh, real context behind it. It was not just <laughs> I mm-hmm. should have known. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they do the the AirTag for your keys. Yeah. Like it's actually a great idea. I mean, there are a lot of devices out there tiles and all this other stuff that you can use but man what's the most you know um i don't know what the word i'm looking for not interactive but the most um used product the whole thing about apple's whole deal is that they um it uses existing iphones so if i walk by bryce's wallet he loses it again and i walk by it with my iphone it'll actually ping bryce or it, that that is how they're using really? keeping track. Yeah, is that That's the idea? Any iPhone that passes an Air Tag basically confirms its location. No, it said something about I don't know the 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 script there on the on the site where I bought it said something about at worst case it shows you like the last place you had it, like the last place you were close to it, right? So if I left it at the office. And nobody else, I guess, to your point, um, amplifies that signal or repeats that signal or whatever that mechanism is. It'll tell you at le- at minimum that we're the last place you were connected to it. Now, I would hope that there's some sort of trigger you can set that as you get far away from that air tag, it can ping you on your phone. I'm hoping that that's. I don't know the about thing. the wallet itself. I uh, the air tag specifically. One thing that they had to add, though, is that now it'll tell you if an air tag, like, because people were popping these on vehicles, like vehicle trackers. And so now Apple, as a safety measure, mm-hmm. ha- will, like, it'll notify you, like, hey, an unknown air tag is nearby you um, or traveling with you. I don't, I don't know how they, how they distinguish it, but yeah. Hmm. I read that. So, so very. That's cool. Yep. That whoop is cool too. I was looking at that. That's a lot of pinging though. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Think about the numbers on that. I mean, let's say, you know, 20, 30% of the population has this, this thing. I mean, how often are you going to be walking? I mean, that's a, that's a tremendous amount of pingage. If it's constantly pinging every time an apple goes, that's hard for me to, put that around my head it may not it may not be pinged whenever you're nearby it but that's what you said no like if it leaves your person if you're out of it like uh-huh. if you're connected to your air tag if you've got your keys on you right and it's within a certain range then it's probably it's not getting fine. pinged it's not yeah. getting pinged but once it's out of that range then possibly it or if you if you start searching for it then that could enable the mode i don't think it's just constantly everybody's just you know yeah, yeah i mean it... it's like a lost like a lost but it's not something land. i have so i'm not exactly <laughs> sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah see just like that Well, somehow we got into technology. Where, this is what I, mean, I appreciate. What, no, absolutely not. Is this, this where is, we were going? I don't think this is in my notes at all. Oh yeah, <laughs> your your thorough your thorough written notes, Craig. <laughs> my whole well. detailed out show plan that I got here that was not part of it, but <clears throat> that seemed like a good uh, diversion. Um, yeah. You know, that's that covers. Yeah. You know what we didn't talk about on any show was that photo I sent over during the break of you, I, and Trent. Nope. Years back. Did we talk about that? I, I, I went through, I saw that what again you, What are you night. thinking Man. about when you see that photo? What, what? I, was, I was pretty full figured. I mean, I'm full figured now, but. <laughs> what do you really figure you were? Full figured. What do you figure you were weighing out at that point in time? 260. And now? Damn. 205. Shit, that's like another me. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) I still need to trim back. 
I need to get back down to my my one ninety five. A lot I got down to. You know, I think I might. Have, we, you know, we're gonna. We, in fact, that might. This might be the segue for us into what you're eating for the holidays because we need a we need a segue sound. Mason. Okay. So no. you guys want like wind chimes? When y'all cut that, in. well, that's your creative. You're, you're creative. Know. Like you know that in the in the old in the old shows they do that memory Ba-doo. thing that like would indicate yeah, that somebody's that. thinking yeah. back. Like, on see, memory. or I could I could have so, yeah. I could have I could record Laura eating like That'd a really fun. crisp like carrot and just have like a bunch of like. <laughs> Yeah, or just a snap, the first snap of it. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll, I'll, I'll I can't wait to hear. I want to okay. hear what y'all come up with because bring you a couple different it. options. You can, or maybe we could have the users vote. That'd be a good little way to get a little engagement. Yeah, that's an option. But won't you guys come up? Won't y'all come up with something first? All and right, then we we'll solved the user input. So, anyway, back something. to the segue. Wait a second. Body temp. Are we not going to do what you're eating? Well, but did what? we finish? What, is, what about body temp? Oh, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just, I'm trying to remember what, what we started with to get to, I think. We did talk woo, about body you're temperature. Talking, did we talk about body temperature? I don't think so, bud. But is that but why we that got matters. onto? You're right. You know, huh? we can rewind. And, okay. You that know, when matter. you listen to this show in your spare time, you be able to remember, hey, that's how we got there. Sound good? There's okay. Violet. Hello, Violet. Welcome to the Fresh Cred Pod. You got anything good to say today? You ready for a big 2022 there, Violet? Hello. Yeah, she's gearing up. She's, uh, she's, she's practicing up. laughing. She's doing uh. lots of highs. <laughs> so <laughs> what, what, what's her outfit for today? What's she wearing? Uh, what you so- wearing, Violet? Violet is wearing a an item from the spring collection. Oh, or, very or, nice. So it's got space, got some planets, mm. with rings. Oh, yeah. Little Elon Musk action going on there. Yeah. <laughs> that's like that's six to nine months right there, buddy. That's a... She just turned five months. So she Dang like, it. Big she, girl she in big, the house. A big one. She's long. That's the thing. It's not that yeah. she's like. Yeah, so she's funny. she's a long baby. She does, so what you're saying? She doesn't need to get on the clean eating challenge just yet. Not yet. I mean, although <laughs> I, I imagine that it would probably be cheaper than the the formula we're buying, <laughs> and how frequently we are. You, has she started fasting yet? You know, I've I've been. I, I want to put her on the fasting program. She should. You know, she we slowed down a little bit on. I'd start with like a you know like a one or two day fast early out. <laughs> one or two days. <laughs> And don't rush her into a big fast. You know, nothing, nothing I try to let her fast for more than three hours, and she's squawking. <laughs> she's oh, not yeah. into it. You're you, you going to have to work on that. So, All right. So um, back to where we were. What were we talking about? We were segueing. Mm. Segueing. What were we talking about? Ah. Okay, so you mentioned the fact that you want to get back to 195. You'd like to. And it made me think, because I, you know, I haven't weighed, I haven't checked mine, because like I say, I don't pay attention to weight. But I feel like that the holidays were not good to my, well, it certainly was, I can assure you what I was eating was not good for my health, but I'm not sure it was good for my waistline either. I feel like I might have picked up a couple pounds. Did you? Holidays? Okay. Um. Yeah, I did, but you know my clothes still yeah, fit, no, and it's not like something ridiculous. I went and bought a new pair so, of jeans, and you know, I keep going back towards what's your jeans of choice. Really what is your jeans bigger. of choice? I mean, I mean let, do let's you, be do honest. You buy those with those rhinestones on the pocket. I, you still I, doing that, or I've only got about ten pairs of those. <laughs> I mean, I can't even think. What, they got the little cross, you know. It's got like the rhinestone cross on the pocket. I know you used to rock those big time. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Uh, no, was that not you? I think that sounds more like 
something you, you're talking about. I, I never, I never owned a pair of rhinestone britches. I'm just going to tell you that right now. So, what is your brand of choice okay. in the britches department? I mean, are you a Wrangler man? Are you a, are you a Wrangler man? It's Wranglers. If I'm wearing jeans with boots, Wrangler cinch. If I'm wearing jeans with casual shoes, which I actually just probably started doing this year. I never had a pair of uh-huh. jeans that I could just wear with a pair of casual shoes. In other words, that weren't too long to wear with casual shoes. Um, or yeah. that weren't starched to the hilt. I just bought like five pairs of Levi's this year. Yeah, Levi was my brand. Really here. I, I still would be if it wasn't for me Esposa. But uh, the... No, true religion. Don't even know what that is. But I do wear an LA brand. Mm -hmm. So my new brand of choice, Mm -hmm. Lucky Jeans. No, that means anything to anybody. But I do know what it means. Uh, I knew what it meant about fifteen years (laughs) ago. I'm a late. I'm a late adopter. (laughs) (laughs) You know, because there was as growing up, I was a Wrangler man. Right, that's all I ever wore. In fact, I didn't know there was another brand of jeans. The whole starch program. Do you still do the starch thing, Ed? You were a Mr. Cleaners guy. I mean, you're you're talking about like fifty dollars a week cleaner, man. I mean, your truck was always full of stuff. Maybe you still do all that. I was in that camp. I was not the fifty, but I was several shirts and jeans. I mean, every week and heavy starch. Uh, just basically, you could stand up in the corner. I don't starch anything anymore. I've changed everything. I mean, there's there's no starch, there's mm-hmm. no none of that. It's weird, but actually, I like it better. I don't spend fifty bucks at the cleaners anymore, or twenty. So yes, I do still dry clean my jeans or have them starched. But the difference is with modern jeans and the amount of synthetic mm-hmm. materials is they don't get as hard. You still get the the look, but they're right. not as uncomfortable or as tight. Like I think. So I've got, I bought a pair of Sense jeans not right. too long ago. That's still the old school denim. And Wrangler still makes some old school denim that like if you stretch oh, yeah. it enough, it's like burlap, right? And when I was young, get, I didn't care. You used I liked to have to it. fight to get your foot mine. Um, I used to have 20s. to fight to get my foot through the leg hole just because they were so glued together. Uh, <laughs> dude, <clears throat> when I lived in Vegas, we would take our stuff to the cleaners and then take it home and starch it again. Like it would... And what was cool, what we thought was cool, my roommate and I, what we thought was cool was that you'd starch it so much to where it would shine. Yeah. Like the starch wouldn't have anywhere to go. So it like literally started to like create like a shellac on it. That's how, that's how starch they would get. So I just bought a couple pairs, um, a couple weeks ago and they're so comfortable because they are, they stretch, but you know, you still starch them and it look, they're like, they're comfortable, but they look crisp. And the whole idea is you can wear them more than once, right? A lot of folks, they don't wash their jeans. They'll wear them 10 times. I mean, I was, I would wear them once, you know, and wash them or send them to the cleaners. But yeah. So what about, what about your short legged britches? Yeah, I'll wear them maybe twice. Do you still starch those? What about your britches? Well, of course, you don't wear short. You, you uh, very seldom just wear to the cl- shorts. It, it depends. I, I almost never see. I never see you on the golf course. You're always where you're always rocking. Oh, if it's a special event, I'll wear pants. But typically, I mean, I played golf yesterday and wore shorts. Now I've got cheap shorts that I'll throw in the wash. And then my good shorts, those will go to the You still wear pleats? Do you have pleats on yours? (laughs) Flat flat front? You're a flat front guy. Pretty much all flat front. Yeah, pleats are out. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Are they? Cuffs and pleats. Don't wear okay. those. Stay away. <laughs> Just say it. So if you look at look at your dockers, if your dockers, Even you know if your that. dockers have so cuffs, get rid of them. That's that's so. really saying something. Yeah. Well, cleaning out the closet was part of the, uh, the year end. So ritual, don't so. don't segue me into the some. year end ritual. Let's let's stick with the what did how was your holiday food consumption? How much produce did you eat? Right? This is a produce show, right? No, it's not. It's not a produce show. No. Why would you say that? We're produce people. Produce guys, it's a produce show. Talking about random stuff. Okay. Trying to get better. 
So all, right. all, all you produce people, we'll talk about produce from time to time. Maybe more than we did last year. But what'd you eat? What you eating? What did you eat over the holidays? Were you a good boy, bad boy? <clears throat> good man. No, I was a bad boy. I was a bad boy in the sense that I ate like pie on Christmas. Um Thanksgiving as well. But no, I didn't I wasn't off the rails. I mean, by and large I was on the same program. You know, we had a lot of roasted vegetables during the holidays and stuff, but like, yeah, I had dessert a couple times. I had a couple cookies here and there, but I mean, not as strict as when I was doing the clean eating challenge, but more kind of realistic. So, um, I have this thing where I really crave sugar at first thing in the morning, or I think it is. And so I started, I read, I think you mentioned it before, but I read recently that like if you drink, you know, whatever in a glass of water, 16, 18 ounces, I drink a bottle of water first thing in the morning, it goes away, you know, but that was the same sensation that I was experiencing for years that would make right. me eat something that I shouldn't be eating. Yeah. Like Bear claw. Pastry or donut or something stupid, right? Mm. Bear claw. So I've found that I drink a bottle of water. And then make my coffee. And it's good. I mean, I think, you know, it's supposed to give your metabolism a little jump start, you know, um, hydrating first thing in the morning. So I really, I really like that. I think for years, my stomach was so bad that it would upset, like just drinking water and then not eating anything would upset my stomach. Hmm. But I'm okay now. So did you practice any fasting during the holidays? So. Did you? That's good. I did. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there was some some points where it was not convenient, but um, I I practiced some restraint, and it's good. You know, I, I was pretty proud of myself. Yeah, at one point we we're in East Texas, and you know, family gathering type stuff, and it's convenient. And hey, let's order pizza. And I got up, got my truck. <laughs> Drove to Berkshire. Nice. Bought some healthy stuff. Very that's what nice. I ate. So, yeah. yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. I can't. I, I, I was, uh, I myself was not, not a, a good fella. I wasn't. Now, what's helped me is the really limited drinking. Yeah, well, I mean, a couple that times, didn't help maybe. Me at all. Three? Yeah. Maybe three times, three, four times yeah. since we last spoke. Yeah. I, th- I don't think that would help me. Just not sure. No, I don't think it'd help me at all. But, no, but <laughs> I was a pretty good guy on the consumption of food, although I had foods that won't be part of my repertoire on a regular. I don't think she knows this, but Laura, we had trash before y'all got there, but it all got eaten. So that's kind of like always a tradition. I make trash for the holidays. Um, you familiar with trash and what that is? I think you mentioned it before, but I forgot what it is. So it's Czech cereal. It's a the variety. Oh, and this year, and so Granger, I questioned it, right? This is me and my closed minded thinking. They did not have so so you get like checks corn and checks uh rice and checks wheat or something, right? Well, this year they mm-hmm. threw out some different mm-hmm. some versions of checks and they had a peanut butter checks. Greg's like, hey, get the peanut butter checks. I was like, I don't know, bud. It's like, hmm, I don't know how peanut butter is going. It's going to be great, whatever. Long and short of it is, is I went with his. <laughs> well, it actually, he was, but it was spot on. Everybody loved the addition of the peanut butter checks. But it's it's check cereal, two or three different varieties of that. Pretzels, nuts, Worcestershire shire sauce, a lot of butter, and garlic salt you know salt salt but it's just and you put in the oven you roast it for two or three hours oh my gosh it's freaking crazy you know trail mix i don't call it trail mix i don't know but that's trash that that's what we call trash the other thing that i probably had not Mm. had and laura did get to experience this lauren mason um for new year's i'm at the store getting the stuff to buy for i'm gonna cook up and I passed by a Rotel and Velveeta display, 
Now, everybody that's a Texas, anybody that's in Texas, born in Texas, Rotel and Velveeta cheese dip is a freaking staple. It's a it's a New Mexico thing as well. Well, and I was in New Mexico, so that's why I passed. I did not know that. I did not realize that was a New Mexico thing. So, yeah. I think Rotel's made in New Mexico. Really? Yeah, they got the hatch yeah. chili ones too. Huh. Anyway, got some sausage, Velveeta cheese dip, freaking uh, Rotel made up cheese dip, dude. That I forgot how good that is. I forgot. I mean, that is. So, how were you reconciling all of reconcile. these activities? Yeah, just like how we're justifying it to yourself. So reconciliation, mm. Ed. You know what? I don't. I just you know focus on. Look, that's over. That was two weeks of kind of let things down enjoy not not crazy because i did i didn't i typically mm -hmm. didn't eat before one o'clock i stuck with my pretty much don't eat in the morning program eat in the afternoon um and you know a couple of meals i i we did have our fair share of uh, vegetables I, I did brussels sprouts and onions we talked about the purple sweet potato pie so so it wasn't like i lived mm -hmm. on crap and I gave up everything. Yeah. Little spots. Little, yeah. Things. Little spots. So, so little things. highlights. Yeah. So yeah. it was, it was kind of uh, how I was. But I, I do think, you know, I, again. Yeah. I, what's that? You know what helps? <clears throat> kind of like when we watch. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. My wife and I, if we're having trouble getting motivated sometimes, mm -hmm. we'll watch Hoarders. Yeah, you have to be careful when you watch it, though, because if I watch Hoarders too late, then I'll be up, like, oh. I don't know, detailing the baseboards or doing something stupid like that because it's like gets me all wound up, gets me freaked out. So 600 Man, Pound Life. that's a tough I don't know show. if you ever watched it. And now, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a devout watcher or anything, but, you know, I, I, I'm not really joking. I mean, I really think that it's a reminder of, like, what happens what can happen what happens to people what's what are real you know issues out there um it even makes you question why you eat sometimes it'll make me think about you know why am i eating am i really hungry is this stress eating emotional eating what you know eat, was it healthy not healthy like it's a thing yeah i've not been out you know when i'm thinking man i gotta lose a few more pounds and then you gotta think about somebody that's has 300 pounds to lose and then you wonder you know how how can you even accomplish that if you get moving around enough and how much calorie restriction would you really need based on the amount of movement you could create at that weight? I mean, it's, it's, it's just a huge at, hole. At, at what point though, in that hole digging, do you realize that you're in that? Hole? When, when, when is it, when do you hit the, wow, this is a problem. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think most of those folks that are hi highlighted on the show, there's a lot of, you know, trauma, emotional distress and other, you know, issues that kind of all pile on. But I mean, right. some more serious hmm. than others. It's weird. Like I say, you think about that, how food, how both beneficial or how it's essential, not only beneficial, it's essential, but also how dangerous it mm -hmm. is. You know, I mean, it's, oh. it's literally, uh, you know, it's a narcotic uh, at some level. So. Yeah. It's. And then you, you, so I've been following some uh, stoic um, pages and stuff. And it's just amazing how whole opposite you know kind of point of view all that stoicism stuff you know it's just so pragmatic and basic and yeah it all sounds great if you can do it but um and there's folks out there on holiday that life that's his game. um so. yeah yeah but i just you, you know the but but here here's the question right is 
if somebody was addicted to produce. Now, I'm talking about the whole department. Actually, if somebody just overindulged on romaine or zucchini, well, would you? I mean, that's the You'd question. Okay. I mean, uh, you know, I would say the bulk of, you know, we talk about food being bad. Even if you overindulged, if, if you were a beef guy and you ate, let's say, just mm -hmm. an overabundance of beef, but you didn't eat bread, you didn't eat anything processed, if you just were a, a steak and tater guy, I'm not sure you'd get to 600 mm -hmm. pounds. If you ate steak, tater, carrots, you know, I do think if you overindulge on fruit because of the sugars in there. I don't, I don't think you could just consume pineapple on the regular, you know? I mean, yeah, yeah. But I still think that um, even those things, even pineapple, I'm still not sure you get to 600 pounds. Maybe if you lived on, but I, it's curious. I just think about it. You think about the stuff that's not man-made, right? What's making most people extremely unhealthy and diabetic is the majority of the stuff that is man-made, wouldn't you say? I mean, when you watch that show, I see people, they got like a 64-ouncer of freaking Coke um, or Diet Coke, for crying out loud, which, you know, uh, that got that, and, and they, they got all the, the stuff that's in packages and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I, you know, I think that, y y you know, it's um, it's the... It's still what you eat, right? I mean, you, you, I guess you could probably do some serious damage if you overconsumed yeah. uh, fresh products. But, man, I don't know. I have a hard time reaching in there. If, if, if it's literally off the... Even just fat. Yeah, you're just eliminating fast food, for example. I'm not talking about, mm -hmm. you know, salads at a uh, you know, yeah. joint. I'm talking about, you know, what we're talking about. Like, I've had fast food since the last time we talked, I think twice. I've had fast food. And what do you call and when fast I say food? that? Yeah, what's I mean your like definition a of fast food? Fries. Like a burger and fries. And that we were on the road. And you eat, was, so you eat yeah, the bun uh, and all. Whatever. I okay. I justified it. I justified it. I mean, because yeah, that, that's how, you know, even so, so I'll, we'll do occasionally uh, like a five guys or something. But there's people yeah. that eat fast food every wow. day. I used to be that times guy. a week. Yeah. You know what I mean? It yeah. really should be zero, but I did it twice. I did it twice, you know, which. For me, that's bad. Like it should be zero. Um, you know, we eat a lot at home. Um, this holiday, we did a lot of prepared meals. Um, you know, purchased pre-prepared mm -hmm. meals from different outlets, HEB, um, a couple local restaurants that are doing some really good stuff. Um, I'm not on a subscription program really? yet. I'm probably going to try that out in the near future, but. You know, it is kind of expensive. I'll, you know, it's, I'll admit it's kind of expensive, but um, <laughs> I'm worth it. <laughs> uh, no, it's not. That is sincere, sincere honesty but hey, this from is, Mr. Bertad right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to share a quote. This isn't my quote of the day, but speaking of this, I had snapshotted this. Speaking of Stoics and talking about eating, and this is pretty harsh, and it's not for me, and that's why it's not my quote of the day. Socrates. Uh, but Socrates <laughs> said, worthless people live only to eat and drink. People of worth eat and drink only to live. That was Socrates. Wow. Apparently, he was a pretty smart dude. And I don't think it means worthless in the same sense worthless, of the, like, so you got to think about so, but that time, so? right? So he's talking. Really, he's referring more to the elite state, right? You know, you've seen the old mm. Roman emperor with the the gal holding the grapes over, and he's late. He's lounging back with a glass of wine. It's it's the indulgence, indulgence yeah. of that, right? It, it's it, it is like I say, rec, you know, taking food. Um, as an indulgence versus as what it should be, which is fuel and energy and necessity for you, your body to healthy exist. It's, it's not supposed to be a, uh, mm -hmm. 
sport yeah and and sport. i mean you know you get into to comfort and and um so so he was probably he was probably more referring to i don't know but i mean that time frame i think the worthlessness so you think it was a dig, it was a dig on the I don't think you had I don't think elite, you had uh the lower uh population overindulging in food consumption. I think <laughs> I think they were just they were just hopefully getting food. Yeah, you're right. Uh so they weren't. Yeah. Well, I mean you're right. I think you're that's probably the perspective, but yeah, that came across on one. Yeah, of the no, I think that's good, and you know, and and that's and that's, and that's really, uh, you know, I enjoy the whole. I've gotten to where I enjoy. I didn't always, but you know, cooking it, preparing it, the the family connection. You know, uh, yesterday was Tanya's birthday, and so I made. Uh, you know, she she's gluten free so you can't buy cake so i got up made her a cake and then i made breakfast and but for me i enjoy all of that making and preparing and adding you know different stuff to it or whatever and then ideally people liking it right there's a whole connection so it's kind of become a, a you know a hobby uh but at the same time i will tell you anybody that wants to try and eat well you have to do a lot of home preparation. You just cannot. I mean, it, it's you've got to you got to decide to yourself. You're gonna somebody in the family is gonna have to invest time into shopping, as well as the cooking and preparation on it because it's not simple. Yeah, yeah. You have to prioritize. And it. so, uh, I don't know. Hopefully it's worth it. We'll see. If I can just avoid freaking, you know, yeah, major illnesses that put me in a, I don't know, old folks home. <laughs> no, 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 well, I won't. Eventually you I, will I'm be. Going to, so. I'm going to flame out. Yeah. I'm going to be streaking through the sky <laughs> like a phoenix. Is that like a phoenix? Like a phoenix? He just blasted into the earth, though, didn't he? <laughs> The Phoenix, come on, no. Craig! Don't you watch Harry Potter? Never read it, never saw it. Okay, don't know anybody in it. And besides, you do realize the, f- the Phoenix bursts well, into flames and then is reborn from its ashes. Back, the rise of the Phoenix, but you got to remember, the rise of the Phoenix came long before Harry Potter. They didn't invent the Phoenix. Okay, you familiar with the Phoenician? I get it. I know Phoenix. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was born at night, but not last night. So anyway, uh, Socrates, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, what is your your real quote then, if that's not it? Oh, gosh, what is my real quote? I just had it. All right. You go first. So it's a new year. And so I wanted something that was akin to being starting a new year. and, And we do need to get into talking a little bit about 2021 and 2022. But... Yeah, and this is as everybody gets older. Like I said, Tanya just she, she just had a birthday. Um, Granger graduated college. He's he, he got out of ASU, which is just amazing. So uh, all this stuff, and you know, here it is. We're in twenty twenty two. It, it we're twenty five plus episodes into this show, so time flies, buddy. And the older you get, the faster it flies. So my quote. I thought was really appropriate for me was, and for the show, the bad news is time flies. The good news is you're the pilot. Responsibility, baby. Michael Altshuler. Altshuler. Hopefully I didn't butcher his name. So he's like, he's now a motivational speaker. He, Made millions doing something, uh, made a bunch of money, and then became a motivational speaker. So, well, can we? Yeah, made millions show, doing something. This show right here, buddy. This show yeah, we is something our we can do. ticket to paradise. It's just a. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found the quotes that out. So I say quotes because yeah, I shared some of them with you guys. 
and they're Ted from Lasso. A, they're from a movie or they're from a series, a Netflix series. No, this is a new one, Craig. And I don't want to segue into what you're watching, but um, it's a show called Godless on Netflix, which I'm um, shocked I like westerns. You like westerns. So, um, freaking <clears throat> westerns, yeah, like any kind of westerns, like I think, spaghetti westerns. I think you, to Bonanza. You, I, I think you're a, a cowboy fan. that was born fifty years too late, maybe a hundred years too late. Hundred, hopefully. Um, so this show is called Godless and in it, Jeff Bridges, yeah. I actually think Jeff I Bridges have seen this from Dumb and Dumber. No. Is it Jeff Bridges? Laura, are Jeff? you looking this up? She's looking it up right now. Laura, do you know? Who's the Dumb and Dumber Jeff? That Jeff. All right. Anyway, it's called Godless. So. He's the bad guy in this show. So I'm going to hit... It's Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. I'm sorry. It's Jeff Daniels. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that guy. So like typically, you know, comedian. Well, in this show, he's the bad guy and he mm. plays a fantastic bad guy. And um, it's, you know, pretty intense show. But there's a couple quotes. So just bear with me. I, I got to share. I probably won't share all of them with you. But my first... And favorite one is because it makes you think, especially about those days, right? And it's applicable oh, now to a certain degree, and I don't want to get into political <laughs> thing. But um, the first one is, ain't nothing scarier than a man with a gun, and ain't nothing more helpless than a man without one. That's political. So that one I thought was kind of deep. right there, buddy. Yeah. It's a little bit, but. Put your, put your um, American another one is American actually this is from a different character but settle down over there <laughs> <laughs> if a person ain't careful they can make a profession I'm out sorry, of revenge if a person yeah. ain't careful these are all quotes mind you they can make a profession out mm. of revenge sounds like a John Wayne quote hmm the good book says pain is its own teacher. What, what, what do you know what that's from? Proverbs or what? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. This is just something quoted, but we can look it up. Pain is its own teacher. Um, family is everything without family. We're lost. That was, you have to watch the show for that one to really hit home. I mean, obviously it's important. Um, Another one I liked was the same God that made you and me also made the Dang rattlesnake. Again. And last but not least, death ain't such a big deal. It's dying. That's no God. I got to agree with him there. That one's good. Out of the ones that you, you, you got there, I, the two that stick out for me is, was it? If you don't have family, you got nothing. Mm-hmm. That's family's it. everything. Family's son. everything son. Family were In lost. fact, uh, Fast and Furious, that was always the way they ended the show. Me familiar. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you th- you, you're, you're laughing because. Oh my God. You, you're, 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 I you're, can't believe you're you just laughing quoted because Fast I'm a Furious. Fast and Furious fan. <laughs> Because I've never watched oh one God. Fast and Furious movie, and I can't believe See? you. You're you got to watch. You got to get out of your Western mojo, man. I mean, you're still watching Gunsmoke for God's sakes. Oh, um, I, I watch a lot of movies, yeah. man. It's just well, Fast and I would Furious not say it's high quality uh, <laughs> movie making, or it's a high quality movie making. I would not oh say it's high gosh. quality content. But it's certainly entertaining. But yeah, so that one and the last one that you you the 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 dying. Uh, what is read that again? Dying's not a problem. Um. So di- death ain't such a big deal. It's dying that's no goddamn fun. Yeah, realistically, well, to a certain degree, yeah. I mean, it's uh, all a big it's, deal. It's the process of getting dead. Once you're dead, I think it's pretty yep. much you. You don't remember anything. You're done. All right. Well, that's uh, that's a lot of quotes, Ed. That that may be a record for I'm the number joking. of quotes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just I didn't want to drag them. I mean, there's going to be so many better ones that I didn't want to drag them out. So I want to get them all out in the open. 
Uh, yeah, and we'll move on to something else because I am watching other stuff. I don't know if that's a segue or not. Did we yeah, finish? we talked we about, about eating. You we had ate. veggies. Had a lot of veggies. I like the Brussels sprouts. We had a lot of roasted Brussels sprouts. I tell you one combo that's really good that we had. Um, yeah, sure. We're still talking about what you eating, right? Okay. Um, cauliflower pizza and um, zucchini and squash roasted and sauteed and or. And so those so two you, things. So together wait a second. Really so did good. you saute? That was a side with the pizza. As a side, just as a side. Huh. Yeah, with pizza, like with Italian herbs and stuff like that. And like, I mean, you know, even cauliflower pizza you shouldn't eat like a ton. Well, what's wrong, with, what's wrong with cauliflower pizza? So for me to kind of, I don't know. I mean, you got a lot of cheese and stuff on but there. The, so. the crust is not bad. Um, is it? It's the topping. No, the crust is not bad. Um, so as a side, that's a good you know, idea. The, I wouldn't have thought as a it side. Just, so it how good. did you saute the squashes? Yeah. Well, Callie did it, but did somebody was just, but you put onions long. or anything else or just salt, the squash? Pepper, cool. Nice. Just seasoning. Just squash. Sun fed, I hope. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it was. All right. So that was good. Um, and then I don't have the jar. Uh, maybe I'll save it. We've talked about enough about what we eat, but there was a new product. I'll, I'll save it for next week. I'll have it you here on my desk. New. It's in the kitchen. I think I got kitchen. something new too. I got to remember what it was, but I think I'd. Just a real good quality uh-huh. soup. Like I'm not a big soup guy, but discovered a really good soup made here in Texas. Um, yeah, I think I came so, across, I got to yeah. remember what it is, but I think I came across something too new that I, I forgot to mention. But anyway. There's a show on the History no, Channel, not to get do. off the subject too much, but where it's all the history about like um, how food's made and food in America and how it came to be and big companies like Heinz and um, Post and I have. Kellogg's how it's and all made. that stuff. That's you ever the How those? It's Made show? I don't think it's how it's made. It's it's This is more of like a historical... I'm sure. I mean, I... Um, Telling of how these companies came to be, Campbell's is one of them, and it was pretty interesting how they how hard they had to work to develop um, mm-hmm. the can, how to open it. Um, they used to have to like solder the cans, um, and they could only produce so many. And they figured out how to seam seal, you know, everything. Like that's a pretty interesting show. I, I don't remember the exact name of it. It was Just, the food that I built watched America. a couple of them. I watched it too. It was really good. The food that built America. That's it. Yeah, I think the one that I thought was the most kind of controversial was the the two were the Kellogg's and Post. That one was pretty interesting because like that cereal when they first started, whatever that cereal was, was they were serving it like in a sanitarium for folks to actually like as a health food. And then the other one that's interesting is like the Chocolate Wars, Hershey and... Um, so in whatever other companies I forget. So in theory, you know, we did, like so the so in, in theory or whatever prior to Kellogg's and the cornflake and that all getting started, in theory they invented breakfast, like as we know it. Yeah. Well, I mean, sure. there was breakfast yeah. was not another people typically ate later in the morning. They didn't they didn't eat their first meal till noonish. Um. And and then they'd have a, but people didn't wake up immediately and start eating, right? That that was uh, so. It's it, it's really yeah. Kellogg's is the cornflake, the sanitarium. They needed they they wanted people to poop, so uh, they were trying to give them fiber. Fiber's not the best thing in the world. wasn't easy to consume, uh, and so they came up with the cornflake. Um, and I forgot it was a salesman. There's a whole story about. It. Yeah, I've, I've, I've some some reason I've either seen that series, uh, or I saw something else on Kellogg's. But yeah, they're um, that's an interesting story. Lots of stuff interesting. But you know, you all those foods that built America. That's what built uh, all the unhealthiness too. Really, most of those companies. Well, it's pretty interesting on how many of how how many of the mass produced foods were either started mm-hmm. during a war effort or somehow the technology to produce or to create or to package like so much has to do with yep um preservation of food 
particularly for Tim. for war campaigns. All right, so that's the, we, we've covered what you're eating, what you shouldn't be eating. Uh, what was the best thing for you in 2021, Edward Todd? I thought we were going to what? You, can, can we can we sideline to what you watching? Like that wasn't the only thing I was watching. I do want to. Oh, okay. I want to make a little bit of an admission. Because I told myself I wasn't going to watch it. And you think it's kind of something that's up my alley. But I saw it as kind of too much of a drama, like a soap opera. But I'm watching Yellowstone. Um, and it's good. It's, you know, not something I should be watching before bed. I tend to lose sleep. And then if I watch Yellowstone and take um, melatonin, have some crazy nice. dreams. <laughs> so you're doing that for entertainment? I am familiar with Yellowstone. You're familiar with Yellowstone, I'm familiar right? familiar with melatonin. I actually just tried some melatonin recently. So. Okay. Yeah. So watch Yellowstone, go to bed on some melatonin and tell me. Yeah, the melatonin didn't seem to do me <laughs> tell too me how good. That goes. In fact, Oh it man, melatonin me, makes it me made dream me crazy, restless like for crazy things. Yeah, it's like I'm thinking, why would really? it affect I me? Mean, is it can it affect you? I looked it up. It's like, yeah, I, I got, uh, yeah, I woke up. Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't sleep through the night. I woke up. Next thing you know, I'm restless. Ah, so I don't know. So here recently, again, I was anti Yellowstone, even though I love, you know westerns and you know the western part of the united states and mountains and all that stuff um i don't know why i just told myself i was gonna watch it. i think i tr started to try to watch one and it just seemed too drama -y. well they came out paramount came out with another series which is supposed to be a prequel it's called 1883 with uh tim mcgraw and faith hill as the lead actors and and um, sam elliott and so it's more of kind of like a movie type it's a series but it's more like a movie and it's talks about the family that's the Yellowstone right. family how they came to be out west right so it's I really liked it and I thought shit we got to watch this now so over the New Year's weekend they were showing all of them because it meant having to get another app the Paramount Plus oh, or yeah. whatever or service but over the but over the New Year they played all of the all of the seasons leading up to this season which is season four um and so we recorded them also. We're watching them. So I'm like halfway through season two. Pretty damn good. Yeah, I don't I'm have time to keep up with all your shows. I got to be honest with you. Like I say, I, I, I'll probably, I don't, I don't, I, I have no, you do have there's time. no way. I mean, we got, I got you Ted Lasso. You make it sound like all I do is sit around and watch TV. I just make time. Like I, that's why I don't sleep very much because I'm midnight. I'm watching Yellowstone. Yeah, that's You're true. On your so second or third I dream. Find, I find the sleeping being much more healthy for me brain wise than watching Yellowstone. So I will say Ted Lasso was a good recommendation, but God knows if I'll ever get caught up in that. Uh Secession's one that we started for crying out loud. I don't know. We're we it's like literally uh, yeah, time wise and Oh, and what's the other one we watched uh, over the holidays? Uh, we started watching it was the, like the morning show. The with, morning uh, show. Steve Carell and uh, Reese Witherspoon. It was a really good. See, I got through. I got through two episodes. Oh, yeah. well, keep but going. I, I couldn't stop. It was really further. good. Yeah. Yeah. So I stopped. Really? Oh, so Mason started watching Vikings or Vikings yesterday, and I'm so excited for him. It's so good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So oh, I gotta watch. You guys quit now. bringing up anything to watch because, yeah, I'm I'm never gonna catch up with the stuff that's out there. Why? Does Ted Lasso well, have any? Has Ted Lasso ended yet? Well, everybody I mean, has to have goals. Over? I don't. Oh. No, well, but they're in between season seasons. One. I'm sure I'm not at the end. So. <laughs> you know what you need to do? You need to get sick. I'm working on it. So what helped me was I got sick a couple weekends ago when we came back um, from East Texas and I was down Saturday and Sunday, like just sick, cold. I got COVID tested. I was negative, but 
Just got a cold, you know. They're still out regular there. cold. Um, a regular and cold. So I was ill. Hmm. Well, whatever. I mean, it wasn't the flu. I don't think we have that anymore, buddy. COVID. So I'm assuming it was a cold. I think we've eliminated all okay, illnesses well, except COVID. Whatever. I was sick, so I was down for a couple of days. So I did indulge in a lot of tube mm, time. Gotcha. Well, yeah. You know what? If me watching, so um, go out and lick some doorknobs. Maybe you'll get sick, and then you can tube watch them time. Show. Uh, if it requires me being ill. So <laughs> anyway, all right. So what else is that? Is that all? So, so you got your what you eating, got your quotes out, got what you watching. Anything else before I segue into your best of 2021? One more. Uno mass. All right. There's one more on Netflix. It's called Damnation. Pretty intense. It's, um, takes place either before, well during or after the depression and it's a bad guy who passes himself off as a preacher and he tries to get farmers to um, unionize um, for his own benefit but it's pretty intense so, a lot of people die a lot of blood all right. a lot of shooting what? like he's literally trying to disrupt the supply chain, you know, so it's kind of, it, it, yeah. It's, What's the name of that? There's some parallels Damnation, in there. Damnation, gotcha. Damnation. So last yeah, night. another good one. No, Friday night. Have y'all seen Don't Look Up? Everybody's seen that. Of course, you guys have all seen that. Y'all probably saw it today. It came out, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's funny. No, but yeah, we watched it. It was, it was funny. I liked it. Don't look up. And then I know a lot of people took Oh my god. I had a lot of uh, opinions about it one way or the other. I just I just took it for what it was. Well, you have to think about was who was making it. So it's Leonardo DiCaprio and one of his biggest things is like climate change. And so it is like kind of a you could think about it in one way, but just like just taking it for you know, just a funny movie, like it's really good. Yeah. It's funny because there's some reality to it too. Uh, it was fun. The end that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the very very end where homeboy's coming out of the ashes. <laughs> no, when um, well, we don't want to spoil it for people. Okay. Yeah, we don't want to spoil right. it. So watch it. So one, you know what? I haven't watched this. This is probably uber intense. I saw some. So my man Peter Atia tweeted out today. Uh, something that was recommended by by him, and it's called Mass M A S S. Watch the trailer, and I believe it's on Netflix. I'm not sure which platform it's on. I think it's Netflix, but doesn't matter. But this is apparently about you know watching the trailer. This is all I was able to pick up. Um, a meeting of the parents of a son. Yeah, I think it's probably real, right? It's probably. I mean, I'm sure the meeting's not. I mean, it's actors or whatever. But it's a it's a meeting between parents of a son that was killed by another son, and it's the parents coming together. Uh, these four people at, at this church in a room. Yeah, I'm sure oh, it's wow. pretty intense. But just watch that trailer. That's uh, that may be something that uh, I check out. So, but. Uh, hmm. Well, that's How's what I'm here for. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, good. you damn nation. Lots of blood and guts. He's really disrupting the supply chain. And your man without a gun is a man that's got no mind. <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> I didn't say that. Said, There's nothing worse than a man. There's worse than, huh? Put words in my mouth. Worse than a man without a gun. So. Putting words in my mouth. Huh. Uh, well, anyway, uh, you guys, we need to wrap up. We do so need to wrap up. Do the second episode. Yes, yeah. So follow us. So what is it? Is it yeah. the fresh cred on Facebook? Yeah. It's like um, the you just have, search the fresh cred and I know. you'll find us. Uh, it, no. So it's mm -hmm. not a handle like no. Instagram it's just a page works. that you oh, can really? find. Okay, because okay. 
All right. Well, follow us on Twitter at CredFresh and on Instagram at The Fresh Cred on YouTube. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, YouTube. Spotify, Apple, mm-hmm. YouTube, um, yeah. and then now Facebook. Need Facebook for 2022. We need to buy some ads on that Facebook. Let's see. That's, that was we our New Year's. Facebook? That should have been our New Year's resolution. Especially since we already easy. accomplished it. We could check it off. Yeah. It's probably a good idea. Mm-hmm. Set yeah. that bar low. All right. Well, it's Maybe been a blast this in. first episode. It's so right. good to be back. You guys have a great uh, Sunday. Yeah, because we're going to have we some do. exciting actually, interviews yeah. coming and, up and in the Ed's near future. It's not being right? funny. We really do have a, a, a exciting interview that's going to be coming up here shortly. So, and hey, for all you produce lovers, it's going to be produce related. So, so show's not complete. Yep. We even we're even working on some live events. Yes. Mm-hmm. I've been wanting to do a live event. Well, I can't so. wait. Oh, it's going to be a big year, guys! Big freaking year yeah, for the Fresh Cred. This time next year, <laughs> we may be in Hawaii <clears throat> for, for our next year's yep. New Year. What do you think? <laughs> Put that down. Oh wow! Twenty twenty three Hawaii. We do the show. I like that. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. In the metaverse. All right, guys. Well, y'all have a good Sunday. Take care. We'll see you later.